Hi Gemini, welcome back to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your, I don't think I need that plan now, I think I know uh, exactly how to, how I'm laying the cards. So this is now the love edition of this particular reading. You've already seen the how to achieve a better life in 2018. And each of those readings really focuses on an area of your life just in general for, um, for, uh, I can't even remember what it was for Scorpio. I started off with Scorpio. For you guys, it was about how to achieve better friendships in 2018. Okay, so it was all focused on friendships. This is focused on love. Now, this reading, uh, Gemini, is for those of you who are either in relationships and you're kind of not certain about those relationships that you're in and you're probably thinking to yourself, you know what, I'd like to find a relationship that's truer, that's more honest, that's more loving, that's more giving, that's more kind. Um... And if you're single, it's all about, well, how do I... It might be that you've been through a series of crappy relationships and it's like, well, how do I actually find true, true love? I mean, really true, long-lasting love in 2018. If you're in a relationship that's all good, usually you'll find that people generally come for tarot readings because even if you're in a relationship, Gemini, and you meet someone and you really like them and they really like you, but you've got, you know, every, people will generally come for readings if there is even the slightest of reservation. Usually if you feel that you're in a relationship that's absolutely rock solid you've got no need to come for a for a reading and usually I don't find people you know very very rare will clients come to me for a reading if their relationships are completely 100% perfect you know nobody's relationship is perfect but it's, if it's pretty near perfect people don't come for relationship readings it's only if there's a little bit of doubt or a huge amount of doubt or you know people are wondering if they're going to have partners come back that type of thing so that's the reading now. Now what we're using, we're using the Golden Tarot as our main um, deck of cards for the reading. Your advice readings afterward will be from the Romance Angels, Doreen Virtue, uh, the Guardian Angels Tarot cards, Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine. And this little beauty I found the other day, it was 45 quid on Amazon. And then I thought, I'm not paying 45 quid for a set of just majors. I looked on eBay and this was 12.99. So I think it's second hand. It's the Love Tarot, 50 Ways to divine love and they're all major cards but what we want is a lesson we want to know what the universe can advise you of in terms of what you should be learning in 2018 with one of the majors okay so we're going to put some of these to the side the advice cards to the side like so because we use those afterwards and let's have a look at um what the universe is saying about how um Gemini finds true love in 2018. Remember, these are guidance readings, so they're not so much predictive. Little bits of it can be predictive, though, especially in the influences coming in area, but uh, it just depends on what we see coming in. So uh, let's have a look. I don't know. I think it was this way up, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, yes, it was. Universe Spirit, what is the... Uh, how can Geminis, whether they are in relationships and looking for uh, more conducive love relationships or if they are completely single, how can Geminis summon a rising find? What is the advice that you have for them in terms of how they find true love in 2018? How does Gemini find true love in 2018? How does Gemini find true love in 2018? Show me in this 11 card reading how Gemini finds true love in 2018. So show me what is at the foundation of all of this. What is at the heart of their love lives in 2018 here? Uh, and how is that evolving onto stage two? What are they experiencing in terms of this evolvement from stage one in stage two here? What is the goals for love? What are their goals for love? Gemini's goal for love, those that are looking to find true love in 2018. Uh, and what, therefore, as a result of that, what is the energies around them uh, in terms of finding love in 2018? Uh, what are they challenged by? What is their challenges in terms of love in 2018 for Gemini? And how can they overcome that challenge here in um, this position here, position six? For Gemini in 2018, what is it that they will need to do? What is the next stage, the fourth stage of what they need to do in terms of finding true love in 2018? Who is Gemini concerning love in terms of 2018 in here, this area here? Uh, position, um, I think it's position eight. Uh, who are they and how are they approaching their love lives in position eight? Uh, what are the influences coming in or what are the influences coming in for Gemini in position 9 or what they'll need to deal with and what are their hopes or desires concerning love in 2018 those that are, would like to find true love in 2018 position 
10 and in position 11 what is the overall advice that you have for Gemini in terms of finding true love in 2018 show me right we shuffle the cards we're going to split the deck into three we're going to collect this back up like so and let's have a look so first things first I always turn it this way so it's easier to lay out so this is the foundation this is the heart of the matter for you guys in terms of love finding true love and this is how things have evolved from that foundation card in stage two this is where your goals are in terms of love and this is what um, this is card one two three four um, and this is where your energies will be focused in terms of love for 2018 uh, this is what's challenging you in terms of finding true love in 2018 in position five and this is uh, position six stage three though how you overcome this challenge here uh, coming in this is what you need to do to find or try to find true love in 2018 position seven and this is how you're approaching your love lives in position eight in 2018 this is uh, influences either coming in or influences coming in or what you'll need to sort of approach uh, take care of in 2018 in terms of love this is your hopes or fears concerning love new finding true love in 2018 and this is the overall advice for finding true love in 2018 okay and we've got those advice cards to show up afterwards so um gemini uh, the, at the heart of the matter the heart of the matter love for you guys in 2018 is the four of wands so your focus is all about finding the heart of the matter is finding a happy stable loving joyful relationship some of you guys it will be about getting engaged with the four of you four of ones for some of you guys your focus might be on uh, marriage with the four of ones energy four of ones is engagement and marriage card so for you Gemini's your focus will all about be all about building stable loving supportive relationships with the four of wands energy and as a result of that how this is evolving into the recent past stage two for you guys is the five of coins so how does that work because we've got the stage one here in your foundation it's all about building happy relationships but you know this is in the distant past so for some of you guys you might have had this this four of wands that's why I can only that's the only way I can read it really we read it now as a distant past stroke foundation so the heart of the matter is all about a relationship that was happy possibly going on obviously from 2017 before that but as a result of that this kind of devolved it didn't evolve it devolved into a five of coins where there was a sense of abandonment I feel some of you guys might have left this energy all right recently as well for some of you guys because this is kind of recent past it might be that some of you guys feel that you know your focus was on um, a happy relationship marriage and it might be that as a result of that what this evolved into was maybe one of you abandoned the idea someone didn't want this or you might have felt a sense of abandonment in terms of some of you guys might have left this situation here in stage two because your goals for love or, or somebody might have left you because your goals for love in 2018 are well there you go the two of cups that's your goal your goal is to have a completely synchronized um steady soulmate the two of cups and the lovers are soulmate cards now i don't always read the two of cups as a soulmate card but we can read it as a, for me the the lovers card is more of the soulmate card okay um and sort of twin flame whatever you twin flame i'm dodgy with i'm not keen on that word at all but we do use it but the two of cups is where you are emotionally in sync this is your and it, sometimes this is simply a dating card you know you've got to be careful with tarot fucking careful with tarot sorry for swearing gemini but you've got to be careful with these cards because sometimes this is about a meet up a hookup two of cups sometimes you're going for a drink sometimes you're having a meal together sometimes it's nothing it's not that serious it is an early stage card and it's a number two all right it's not a ten of cups okay uh you know it's, it's not a ten it's a two so it can be early stage however in its general and i'm you know general meaning of the card with the two of cups um this is all about the goal with the two of cups would to find someone who you feel is your equal 
somebody who you feel emotionally in sync with somebody who you feel it's not about your better you know what i mean it's not six of pentacles is one of those cards in the tarot when it comes to love that indicates somebody is your better because we can deal with socio-economic situations so with the six of pentacles you can get somebody who feels that they're above their partner because they earn more money or they're always having to look after the partner or pay out to the partner or that type of thing the two of cups is about being in tandem being on the same page so your goals are to find a relationship in which you feel that you both are quite similar it might be in vision it might be in feelings well it's definitely in feelings similar feelings same feelings uh a soulmate uh, somebody that you feel is your you know just basically your equal somebody who you feel comfortable with someone who you feel is your destiny that you're fated to be with though it's not always a card of fate as far as i'm concerned the two of cups it's a card of similarity and uh and um equality so your goal is to find the right person for you with the two of cups energy and it might be that in the past you did have a relationship but this evolved i'm going to call it devolved though because we go down even though the five is a higher it's not the four of wands the four of wands is all about happiness and the five of cup five of coins is all about instability and leaving so this is almost like this was happy in the past you had a relationship in the past that was happy but and the where the the focus was on marriage and engagement and all the rest of it or just being happy and building this thing because the four of wands is early stages one it says there's more work to be done to achieve you know greatness in a relationship so <coughs> excuse me you guys uh gemini might have had a relationship where there was great happiness but it devolved into stage two so it worked backwards in terms of stage two to a relationship where <coughs> it became um uh either because the, the five of pentacles if you look at this as well there are two people after all on that card so it might be that it evolved or de i would say devolved sometimes the five of coins can be that you're in a relationship where you're in it for thick and thin but i would say that because this is such an early stage card where there's great merriment and i'm not saying that people were married with this card but there was the focus on this or the focus on building a strong stable loving kind fun you know joyful relationship but i would say with the, because the five of coins is such a uh it, it's 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 such a poor card and it lacks a lot of happiness These, look at the colors the color on here is beautiful on here it's all dark and brown so i would say that this devolved into some of you guys felt either that the partner was too needed or somebody might have felt that you were too needy with that five of coins um uh, gemini or it devolved into feeling a, a sense of um what's the word having to uh that oh god what's the word that i'm looking for on here with, it reminds me of the devil in a way oh god what is that word that i'm looking for in terms of relationships so it's it's where you're clingy so there's a certain clinginess even though four fives aren't necessarily clingy it devolved it looks like to me like a, a clingy type of relationship type of thing it's, it looks unhealthy to me that something devolved into becoming unhealthy with that five of coins and some of you guys as a result of this might have felt that one party didn't want what you wanted and there was a sense of abandonment in that and that's why you know your goals in terms of loving the two of cups is to find a joyful happy relationship where you are both on the same page and you both want the same things and as a result of that your focus for love in 2018 gemini will be the queen of swords in the reverse how does that work queen of swords in the reverse is going to be your focus for love now queen of swords in the reverse is not the best card to get because queen of swords in the reverse focuses on jealousy and resentment and uh bitchiness and um you know she's not even in the upright so as a result of your goals being to have a uh a balanced relationship a soulmate relationship uh, a congenial relationship with that two of cups your focus will be over the next 12 months in terms of finding true love the queen of swords in the reverse and i feel that this is all about pleasing yourself with this queen of swords in the reverse so your focus will be on finding a relationship in which i feel that you please yourself and how do you please yourself with the queen of swords in the reverse now she's not great this is the thing and we've got to look at the meanings of these cards as well because there's a reason for a reversal and there's a reason for an upright in the upright the queen of swords is in control of her emotions but she's also in control of 
uh, decisions. So she's very controlled in terms of making decisions. She knows what she wants and what she doesn't want. And anything that's not right for her, she will desist with and she will cut out because that's how she rolls as an individual all right look how she holds up the sword she holds it up with such command and she says come hither peasant and she says let me look at you how clean is your face so she holds onto the face and the hands let me have a look hmm okay yes you look fine you can go into the court and then she looks at the other peasant that comes along and says hmm, let me have a look at your face your teeth your hair hmm Mm, you look disgusting. Get out, peasant. That's the type of person she is in the upright. She's not nasty. She's a great lady. She's really intelligent, really clear, really concise. She doesn't mess about. She's great. She's a counsellor. She's seen as a healer in terms of herself, in terms of general situations in the tarot, if you really look into this character. But in the reverse, she's more... Um, she tends to be quite a sorrowful character. Um, and I don't know whether... See, this is, these readings are sent to empower you guys. They really are. But I feel it's almost like the focus with love in 2018 is almost like once bitten, twice shy. I feel with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Because she's very guarded, is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. She really does put those boundaries up. So I would say that this is the focus for love, for finding true love, is that you guys will be overly careful, I feel, with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Because your challenge for love is... Well, Ten of Swords. Some of you guys have been betrayed. Ten of Swords. And that's what your challenge is. It's getting over a betrayal, which is why you're overly guarded with that Queen of Swords in the reverse. Overly guarded. To the point of, you know what? You know what? If you're not wearing blue contacts, you ain't coming in. Doesn't make any sense. I know that analogy. But this is how precise and how detailed and how finicky and picky the queen of swords in the reverse can be because she's been deeply hurt i mean really deeply hurt so it's not like when she gets hurt with the queen of swords in the upright she picks herself up brushes herself off and starts all over again and comes back as a, a stronger woman and a stronger character in the reverse this woman can become quite weak and i'm not saying that you're weak gemini at all not by any stretch of the imagination i'm not saying that you're weak at all what i am saying is is that you are very very much guarded i feel with this queen of swords in the reverse and you're this is why i was saying the focus i thought would be on the self for love because you're very picky and you're very very choosy your goal is to have the perfect relationship two of cups the balanced relationship the soulmate the proper person who's meant to be at your side because in the past you had a good relationship but i feel that this devolved into something that was weak that was um that was sick that lacked uh, potential for growth the potential for it's it's for half of the ten of pentacles so it lacked it it was it had holes in it it's almost like the ten of pentacles reverse the five of coins in the upright concerning relationship you might have felt abandoned might have evolved into you feeling abandoned from an individual somebody shutting you out with that five of coins and your goals now are to have a relationship that doesn't do that that you know this person that you know that they're going to be the proper consort to you and as a result of that that means you're going to have to get like you know no more mrs nice girl or no more mr nice guy queen of swords in the reverse you're going to be very very picky very very choosy very very guarded because you guys your challenge is it's the ten of swords you've been hurt You've been betrayed. You've been terribly, terribly let down. And as a result of that, how do you get over that challenge of being stabbed in the back? Of being let down? Of being betrayed by an individual? How do you guys overcome that in order to find true love? Six of Cups in the reverse is how you overcome this Ten of Swords. Now, Six of the Cups in the reverse is about uh, the past and the rose tinted glasses off the past and looking at the past in terms of its most beautiful light when you get the six of cups so this is somebody who lives in the past and it's funny that the advice is for you guys stage three of how you overcome the challenge of being let down or betrayed it's to go back to an innocent time i feel with the six of cups in the reverse and to try and resolve this situation through looking back at who you were the innocence of love and what you felt because i feel that some of you guys have in this reading in one way some way shape or for gemini become more jaded with this focus for 2018 being that queen of swords in the reverse which is you know i'm going to be a little bit more picky now i'm going to be more jaded i'm going to be more you know 
boundary. I'm going to put them boundaries up just a little bit. You know, I'm going to put the reins. I'm going to be a bit more tighter with this shit, man. I'm not going to let people in so much because some bastard let me down, Ten of Swords. And my goal is to have this. I want to have a true love. I want to have a true love. But this isn't necessarily the best way to get it because the Queen of Swords is reversed. That's the only problem. And the problem with the Queen of Swords in reverse, she does become bitter and resentful. And I'm not saying you guys are bitter or resentful, Gemini, but you do have a little bit of an, uh, your armour on. I'm seeing you with armour on. So your focus is really to protect yourself because you are, your goal is to get this. But in order to get this, your focus is on being the Queen. So you feel that you need to do something here. You need to become harder or you need to become far more colder as an individual more detached if you're going to have this maybe give somebody a run for their money perhaps because you've been hurt and let down by somebody in the past but how you overcome that challenge is by going back to who you were how you started out with all of the expectations and the wonderment and the childish kind of uh, beauty and idealism that we carry when we are younger in terms of finding love. Because nobody gets what they want by being this, Queen of Swords in the reverse. No one does. No one does. Because what you do is you have relationships that come in and you speculate on them. And you, uh, you know, you, I mean, some of you guys, you might even be looking to manipulate certain people because she's a manipulator in the reverse. She'll say things that aren't true. Or she'll become like Alexis Colby from Dynasty. Da, 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 da. Oh, so you want me, do you? Right. Well, you'll have to sell me half of your company if you want me that much. It's that type of thing with her, you know. She's a bit of a bitch in the reverse. And I'm not saying that you're going to do that. But it's saying, really, I feel the tarot is saying, you know what? You might concentrate on being a bit more enclosed. Only letting the few in because you are so specific with your goal being that two of cups. And it's a statement card and in a love reading when your goal is to have that type of synergy. But you feel that as a result of that, to have that, your focus is going to be on the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And this isn't, the Queen of Swords in the upright for me is a far, far superior card than this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Because it's the absence of control. And the absence of clarity and truth is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. She, de she devolves more into a, an un unhappy mess. And I feel that that's because your challenge is you guys have been hurt. But the only way that you're going to get over that hurt is by going back to what you once were. With all of the sparkly innocence and expectation that love can come in and it can abide abound and you can find the one you can find the prince or the princess in knighting sh uh, shining armor you know you can find all of those things because i get the impression that some of you guys have become quite jaded coming in the next stage in terms of you guys finding true love in 2018 is the ten of wands you're going to need to deal with your shit because the ten of wands is saying you're going to need to just move through the energy this is the next stage and you know i can't change up what the cards are trying to say ten of wands is all about carrying a burden but you're gonna have to just move through whatever these energies are here one two three all right because here as from this the foundation shows in foundation stroke past you guys had a happy relationship somewhere along the line, but it descended and devolved into something that wasn't so happy. Maybe quite neglectful, a relationship that was being neglected or you were being neglected or somebody abandoned you or the relationship became codependent. That was the word I was looking for before. And what you're looking for is a relationship that is not codependent, but is balanced and equal between you and another individual. And what you're going to do is you are going to become more stringent, almost Sergeant Major-ish, in order to get that with the Queen of Swords. That'll be the focus for 2018. But from here, the second stage in which a relationship here devolved into nothingness, into lack. Stage three says, because you guys, your challenge is that you've been hurt and betrayed. Stage three says, well, look, you're going to have to try and get over that by going back to the time of innocence, remembering the time when relationships weren't always about betrayal. 
where you had that hope and that, you know, that rose tinted glasses that you could find the perfect prince or the perfect princess. And therefore, in stage four, you're going to have to just carry on moving forward. No matter what the burden is that you carry, you're just going to have to carry on moving forward, Gemini, because it will come. But no pain, no gain. Because you guys, in terms of your love lives in 2018 and how you're approaching it, well, the sun in the reverse. Some of you guys might have given up hope. Some of you guys might be feeling unhappy in terms of love, which is what the reading is geared towards. People in relationships who aren't particularly happy or um, uh, people who are single and looking for love. Some of you guys, you might be lacking confidence. Sun in the reverse. You might not know how to flirt or how to get yourself out there. And it would work very well with the Queen of Swords being the energy coming through from this sun. So if you are the sun in the reverse, somebody who lacks confidence to go out and get what they want, somebody who's being very unhappy, somebody who feels a sense of uh, joylessness in terms of finding love, you know, somebody who hides themselves away with the sun in the reverse. Somebody, son in the upright is somebody who's charismatic and they're confident and they know how to get what they want. And they've got charisma in droves and people are very attracted to who they are. But in the reverse, this is somebody who would lack confidence, I feel here. So I think that some of you guys do lack the confidence with the son in the reverse concerning love. There's a great deal of unhappiness concerning love for some of you guys being the son in the reverse. Some of you guys might feel that it's too late to find love because the sun is starting to set. So some of you guys might be in your 40s or 50s and you feel, not so much 40s, but 50s, 60s and feel, it's too late for me. But as a result of that, your focus will be on being the Queen of Swords. Far more stringent. You're doing a Donald Trump. Not allowing certain parts of the world into the country because they've committed acts of terrorism. While this person here, whoever they are, have committed an act of terror towards you, Ten of Swords. They've betrayed you. They've put a load of knives in your back. And that's why you become this. Because you had a relationship in the past in which somebody might have abandoned you. might have devolved into somebody abandoning you, neglecting you. And now your goals are to have a relationship that's in tandem. But in order to get that, you feel that you need to be this Queen of Swords. In the reverse, because you feel let down, you feel despondent, you lack courage or confidence that things can change. But the universe is saying, well, look, if you want to have true love, Gemini, you've got to move through this fear. You've got to move through this shit. Because the more that you hold a grudge, and I do feel that some of you guys might even be holding some form of a grudge here, even if you don't know it. You want this, but you think that the only way you're going to get this is by being this. And that's not the way it works, which is why the universe is saying, look, your challenge is, is that you've been hurt, Gemini. But the way that you overcome this hurt is by going back to who you once were, six of cups in the reverse. Somebody who trusted. Somebody who dared to dream about the perfect relationship. Go back to that, because it means you've got far more of a chance of getting this by being this rather than being that. Coming in, you guys will need to deal with the four of swords in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse can be that you'll need to deal with feeling a sense of restlessness because this is a card that says that you heal. Four of Swords in the upright. Four of Swords in the reverse can say that uh, the energy is coming in will be one of restlessness. And I'll get another card on that in a moment. Sometimes this can be somebody who's coming back. They've taken a pause or a break and now they're coming back. It might be that for some of you guys. Your hopes in terms of love in 2018. Well, the Nine of Wands. So it's good. The hope of the Nine of Wands is to hold firm and hold true and hold strong no matter what. So you're showing the fighting spirit. You show that you don't want to be this damn Queen of Swords in the reverse. And you don't really want to be that. But it's because of hurt that you're, you are this. And you say, you know what, my goal is to have this relationship that's in tandem. That, you know, brings equality and balance into my life. It's to find the perfect mate. That's my goal. But that's why my focus through 2018 will be on being extraordinarily selective to the point that I'm being picky right down to whether this person has got aftershave on or not. Being terribly picky because I was let down in the past. You know, somebody wanted something and then they didn't. They abandoned me. And my challenge is now I've been too hurt and I need to protect my borders here. I want this, but I need to protect who I let in. But the universe says, no, this is your challenge. The way that you overcome it, the way that you're going to have true love is by going back to the time of innocence 
where you were more open and more free, though you've been hurt. It's about becoming more open and more free again. Six of Cups in the reverse, reverting back to childhood, who you were before all of the rot set in from other people. Because in stage four, to get to where you want to go to in terms of love, to get true love, you have to still go through the fire. Ten of Wands, you're still going to have to go through those burdens. So it might be that you, some of you guys do still have shit coming in in 2018. And I'm not saying that you are going to Gemini, but I'm, I'm saying it's Ten of Wands is where you're carrying burdens. For, so for some of you guys, the next stage in terms of try, finding true love is it might be that you've still got some tests that you need to go through. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but you still have to get through the burden. All right. It might be that you have to find a way instead of doing this. What you're going to have to do is find a way to resolve the issue here. Because you're going to experience a sense of restlessness for some of you guys. You're going to have to deal with that. But your hopes will be to hold strong. To carry on being resilient. To carry on having faith. Nine of Wands in the upright. And the overall outcome for how you find true love in 2018. Take a new direction. Two of Wands. Just take a new direction, Gemini. Because you'll experience restlessness with the Four of Swords. And if this is somebody coming back, it's saying, well, if you want true love, don't go back there. Take a new direction. Let's get why we've got this Four of Swords coming in in the reverse. Why is Four of Swords coming in the reverse for this reading for Gemini for 2018? Why is Four of Swords coming in the reverse? The Hierophant in the reverse. So coming in, some of you guys are going to be feeling restless, I would say. Restless, angry, annoyed because somebody didn't want to commit to you. Some of you guys might find it very difficult to break away. Hierophant in the reverse is to break away. And Four of Swords in the reverse is restlessness. So you're still active. So some of you guys are feeling a sense of restlessness that somebody broke away. Hierophant in the reverse. So influence is coming in is that some of you guys are going to be feeling resentful. Four of Swords in the reverse, restless Four of Swords in the reverse, because you know that you need to break away from this situation. Some of you guys are feeling restless because somebody didn't commit and broke away from you with the Four of Swords, with the Hierophant in the reverse. They might have broken a vow to you, for example, especially if you were married. But the outcome is, how do you get new love in 2018, going into 2019? Choose a new direction, please. Why does Gemini need to choose a new direction with the Two of Wands? Why does Gemini need to choose a new direction? Choose a new direction and sever any ties with whoever it is that's holding you back in 2018. Ace of Swords in the reverse is to sever ties. Ace of Swords in the reverse is also lack of clarity. So choose a new direction from anything you don't understand. Or anything that doesn't give you peace. Also, the Ace of Swords in the reverse is stagnation. So choose a new direction from a situation that will not change. Ace of Swords in the reverse. But mainly choose a new direction and sever ties with that Ace of Swords in the reverse. By dropping the burden. Two of Coins in the reverse. Choose a new direction and sever ties with something that has been overwhelming you or weighing you down. Two of coins in the reverse is to be weighed down. Choose a, new choose a new direction and cut ties with this thing that's been weighing you down. Two of coins reversed. That's what your advice is. How do you achieve true love? And this is 2018, but it's also going, you know, on through whenever. Gemini. It's not just about 2018. You know, there's, there's so many times when um, I did a reading for Scorpio that they needed to move on in a situation. And the vitriol I got from some people on that reading was incredible. Because I just thought, you know what? If you're not going through this, great. I'm glad. You know, because nobody really wants to have to carry on going back to or thinking about someone. Because it was obvious in the reading that somebody was playing on Scorpio's mind like mad. And that it was getting on their nerves and a lot of people came back and agreed in the in the comment section on that but a lot of people were like you know oh well, this is a negative reading and this is that well you know it's either a negative reading because you're in a relationship and you fear that it's going to go that way or it's a negative reading because you're unhappy and you want me to tell you how brilliant everything's going to be my readings don't work like that i don't 
come out with negative readings i don't intend to give anybody a negative reading if you if negative if what, what you want to call it i would choose to say that these are wake-up call readings okay so this isn't about negativity this is about look you, you know i had been for me i had been let down uh, i think it was 2015 I had met someone in a workplace and it was just such a difficult thing to go through. And he was a very weak guy, which is fair enough. Not everybody can be strong. Some people are, you know, he was the hierophant in the upright, basically, this guy was. He was somebody who adhered to rules and regulations. You know, he wasn't about to align himself with a tarot reader, somebody who was so different from all the other females. He needed to be, you know, hierophant in the upright is all about conservatism and aligning yourself with the status quo. In the reverse, you break away from the status quo. So, you know, I didn't go through with that situation. That was over and done with. And then I met someone... Um, two years later you know I've had boyfriends but not lots of them because I don't I'm very very it's not that I'm cautious around I'm just very careful with what I go for the second one that I met which was in June 2018 2017 I thought hmm did a tarot reading on him things look good did have judgment in the outcome which I was a little bit nervous about I thought hmm change phase awakening choice judgment hmm but I thought, well, it could work either way, couldn't it? Because the tarot is not always what we feel it is. Sometimes, you know, the, the cards can move in all sorts of ways. Left it, thought, okay. The guy was not right for me. Ended it. Life has been 100% better ever since. I'm so happy in my life. I'm lucky, I'm fortunate, I'm blessed. Got a lot of plans this year. What I'm trying to tell you is that if we hold on to things... I mean, I actually feel that the other guy came in in 2017, so it helped me to get over the guy from 2015, because he had been somebody who was consistently on my mind. Luckily, I'm free of both of them, and I've never been happier in my life. I just feel like I can do anything. Sometimes being in a relationship, for me personally as a person, sometimes being in relationships can really be a bummer, because, you know, it's just like, oh, God, you know we're going out tonight are we i'd rather be doing something else to be honest oh really can't you oh well wear your shortest skirt and but it's just like i don't want to wear a short skirt and i don't want to really wear any make blah blah sometimes they're just too constrictive to me i'm a bit of a selfish bugger to be perfectly honest with you and i like my own space and to do my own thing but what i'm trying to say is is that Sometimes when you hold on, and I think that some of you guys are holding on to certain elements here, it stops you from, you're blocking. I think you are blocking out, some of you guys here. I think you've been blocking out true love coming in, whether you recognize it or not, Gemini. Sometimes it's the way that we act that blocks out the un or the universe doesn't bring us what we want because we've got a blockage a major blockage going on and i feel that if we go back through this reading again where we're saying well how does gemini find true love in 2018 going on i guess into 2019 while well, you guys are showing us the sun in the reverse so it might be that you lack confidence within yourself it might be that you don't have the confidence to feel that you're interesting enough or that you're attractive enough or that you're charismatic enough. It might be that you guys feel the sun is going down on you. So it might be for some of you guys, you don't feel as young or youthful, as beautiful as you once were. Remember, the sun is all about youth and beauty and in the reverse is can say well the sun is going down maybe some of you guys feel a little bit too old or you feel like, oh well i'm in my 50s or 60s or 40s or whatever and i'm a bit too old and i'm looking old and i'm not feeling as juicy and vital as i used to be and it's all because in your foundation the root issue is about a relationship that some of you guys were in but this was the first stage but the second stage the relationship seems to have devolved into the four of coin five of coins where some of you felt an imbalance with the partner you might have felt uh, not at ease you might have felt that it was too much of a codependent relationship maybe the person depended on you maybe you depended on them uh it might be that this person abandoned you in the end the five of coins they let you go um they distance themselves they detach yourself whatever the case is this relationship fell apart for some of you guys and your goal for 2018 has been to have a relationship where you are completely in sync with the new partner or with the person that you want to come in 
um, you want to be completely in alignment emotionally, mentally, sexually wise in every damn way you can have in a relationship Gemini is looking for that your goals are towards that Gemini and as a result of that your focus will be to be very finicky very picky very very careful overly careful though with this Queen of Swords in the reverse because you guys your challenge is you've been let down betrayed and hurt with the Ten of Swords but the universe is saying no that's not the way that you get this the way that you get this is by firstly you need to overcome whatever shit's going on here and how do you do that you go back to the six of cups in the reverse you address the issues that you have number one been suppressing that you've not dealt with with the six of cups in the reverse but also you go back to a time where you weren't this queen of swords in the reverse where you were had all of the wonderful rose tinted glasses expectations that everybody has when you start out on this road of finding partners falling in love wanting to get married or the rest of it go back to innocent time more remember the past remember how good things were in your past when you had relationships stop thinking about the bad shit that happened in the relationship because it's making you become this and think about the good times because the six of cups is when we think about the good times we think about the rose tinted elements of the relationship the fantasy the idealism of the relationship in the past and it's saying look you know you want to have pure true love coming in 2018 and your challenge is this you've been let down so you become this and this is how you think you're going to get this no you're not going to get that that way gemini this is what the universe is saying to you you get it by going back and saying, you know what, I forgive. Because I look at all of the good times that I had with this person. And if you didn't have any good times with the person, think about the good times that you've had thinking about the type of love that you wanted to come in with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Because that's the third stage of how you start. You start to overcome this by forgiveness and thinking about all of the good times so only concentrating on the good things that happened in that relationship so you, you can replicate that again hopefully in a new relationship that comes or thinking about what type of relationship you were thinking that you wanted maybe as a child all of us as children five six seven year olds ten year olds say oh i want a prince in 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 knight in shining armor and i've got my cindy doll and my barbie and i've got my other Kendall and they're both playing together and they're both kissing and they're both walking up the aisle it's all about the past and it's going back to that natural state when we had that wonderful expectation before we were tarnished with the reality of what love can do at times go back to this because the four stage for you achieving true love in 2018 and beyond Gemini will be you've got to just go through the shit you're just gonna have to deal with the burdens there's no point in thinking you can ignore the burdens by doing this because they're always going to come back and bite you on the ass. So you're just going to have to deal with it because what you'll experience coming in is restlessness that either somebody didn't want to commit to you or restlessness that somebody broke off an engagement or they broke a vow with you with this here event, or restlessness that you really are going to have to break away from this situation. The saving grace is, is that your hopes are to hold on in there until you do find the right individual. But the advice from the universe, Gemini, is simply this. If you want to find true love in 2018 and beyond, take a new direction by severing ties with the very thing that is weighing you down. Sever ties, ace of swords in the reverse, weighing down two of coins in the reverse. Two of wands, new direction. Take a new direction and sever ties with the very thing that is weighing you down because the very thing that is weighing you down is right here in that queen of swords reversed and that ten of swords reversed and that ten of swords in the upright as you challenge this is what's weighing you down it's the betrayal that somebody put on you and how you've harnessed that as the queen of swords your goals are to have a committed relationship but you feel that you're going to get it by being overly cautious with the queen of swords you feel that you can control whoever it is that comes in because you've been let down, but you can't. Because the best way to have true love come in is by forgiveness, six of cups in the reverse, resolving any past tensions within the south, six of cups in the reverse, but also going back to the imagination of what it felt like to be a child and want to have that prince or princess in shining armor playing with your Barbie dolls or your Ken dolls. What did it feel like? It felt like life was, that was the potential was just infinite 
Is it infinite? I don't know. So go back to that. Don't stick in that. This is why it's saying to you here, take a new direction. Sever ties with the very thing that's weighing you down. You see, it's two pentacles that are weighing this person down. It's the person that hurts you, but it's also yourself. Very good reading. Change tact. Change course if you want to find true love. The more that you hold on to, and some of you guys I do feel are holding on to some form of resentment. The more you hold on to resentment in 2018, if this resonates with any of you guys, uh, Geminis, the more that you hold on to resentment, the more that you will block true love coming in. The first, really, the end stage is that you need to take a new direction and release Ace of Swords in the reverse, the very thing that is letting you, weighing you down, which is the person that hurt you and yourself as the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Let's get some advice cards showing up for you guys, okay? So, uh, yeah. Let's start with the advice from the angels. So, the Romance Angels. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Gemini on this reading for how they achieve true love in 2018? What is the advice that you have for Gemini on how they achieve true love in 2018? What is the advice that you have for Gemini on how they achieve true love in 2018? Show me. There you go. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. She does pay attention to the red flags, so I can see why that card would come out. Your goals are to have a symbiotic, committed relationship. And to do that, this is about you becoming very, very cautious Queen of Swords in the reverse. So I can understand that, and that's good. Everybody has to do that. If you want to achieve true love, there's no point in going out on a date and sitting with them. If you're a woman sitting with a guy who looks at every female waitress or male, depends on if he's gay, bisexual, whatever, but let's just for the sake of the reading, for the sake of the simplicity, call it heterosexual. There's no point in going out on a date with somebody who, uh, you know, <laughs> who basically every time a waitress walks past, in short skirt or it doesn't even have to be a short skirt but just walks past is looking is looking at how they look every single one of them that's your red flag because this guy's not putting any attention on you they're always got eyes all over the place and that tells me well if this person's doing that they're not they're always looking for something else so yeah if you want to achieve a true relationship true love do pay attention to those red flags because the signs of whoever it is that you meet will be cautioning you. The next advice card we have is through uh, the Guardian Angel Tarot cards. And let's have a look at what the advice is here. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Gemini in terms of how they find true love in 2018? What is the advice that you have for Gemini? What is the advice that you have for Gemini? Show me. Successful completion. Let me read this to you. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. So for me, number one, how you achieve finding true love is to pay attention to the warning flags. There's no point in repeating old patterns. And here, I guess you don't want to repeat old passion patterns. But the universe is saying that you don't want to repeat old patterns because you were hurt. That's your challenge. You can't get over a hurt. But it's saying here, well, the best way to deal with this is either to forgive, to face up to your demons, things that have not been resolved of the self, six of cups in the reverse, but also to go back to happier times within the self. Don't always focus on the bad shit within the relationship. Forgive. Also focus on what you wanted when you're in a more childlike state. Go back to innocence. Because not everyone is going to be bad. However, you do still need to pay attention to those red flags. So because the Queen of Swords doesn't want to return to meeting the same old douchebag, it says that if you do meet a douchebag in 2018, Gemini, just make sure that you're not going to keep that douchebag hanging around because it might be that you kept a douchebag here who let you down and betrayed you at the same time. So pay attention to those flags. Usually if somebody reminds you of somebody from the past, they often are kind of the same thing. 
So just be aware of that. The second thing about achieving, the second advice card for achieving um, true love is be be very proud of your accomplishments in 2018. Be very proud that you know what you want. You know you want a symbiotic, committed relationship with the Two of Cups. Okay? Be very proud that you can take care of yourself with the Queen of Swords. And that you know that you can be a little bit more cautious because you've learned a lesson. But also be very proud that you'll still carry on fighting the good fight to have what you want with the Queen, with the Ten of Wands in the, uh, in the upright. So be very proud of your accomplishments and what you've learned and how maybe a destructive negative relationship has brought you to a place where you know exactly what you want and how you want to get it going forward in 2018. So be proud of accomplishments. Be proud of the lesson that you've learned from a relationship that perhaps didn't work out in the past. Uh, Gemini and the final advice that we have is from the love tarot 50 ways uh, to divine love and this is all major cards which I love so the lesson that you need guys need to take heed of in 2018 when finding true love is what is the lesson that um, Gemini needs to heed when finding true love in 2018 show me the Empress is the lesson. The Empress card. I'll see what the saying is for this card in the book. But be mindful of the Empress. It's a beautiful card. Look at look at it. It's just gorgeous. And the lesson with the Empress is to learn how to nurture, especially the self. So if you want to find true love, this is all about nurturing off the self, the empress. This isn't about, well, you know, the lesson is to attract somebody who wants you as much as you want them. Because this is about, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is also about two people who are very, very interested in each other. It's about a joint attraction when you get empresses showing up. Okay, it's about true love. But we're not asking for a predictive uh, card from the universe. We're saying, what is the lesson that Gemini needs to learn in order to find true love. And the lesson is the Empress. That you need to nurture yourself and put as much energy and love and care into yourself as you can put into anybody else. If you don't care about yourself, if you don't love yourself, if you don't nurture yourself, if you don't take care of yourself, Gemini, how are you going to take care of anyone else? How are you going to nurture anyone else? Because Queen of Swords doesn't really nurture herself. All she does is resent and hate. All she does is look at situations in the most clinical of ways. She's more organic is the Empress. So the lesson that you need to learn in terms of finding love is love yourself first with the Empress. Nurture and build yourself. Build into yourself. Invest in yourself with the Empress. Nurture yourself. Eat good. Go gym. Drink good. Drink plenty of water. Oil your skin. Take nice baths. Smell nice. Men and women. Look after yourself. Clean your ears. <laughs> Sorry. Clean your belly button, you know? Oh, no, I'm talking shit now. But what I'm trying to say, the whole point of this is, look after and tend every part of yourself. Develop yourself. See yourself as your own installation, your own creative piece of work, your own creative piece of art. That's the lesson that you need to learn. Because this person here, whoever did this to you, Gemini, really fucked you over. I mean, they really fucked you over, right? Because your challenge is you can't get over this ten of swords. You've been hurt. You've been hurt. So... We go from the challenge to why this is happening. Two areas here that why this is happening. One is your goals are to have a relationship. Because your challenge is that you've been hurt. But you think that as a result of your challenge being that you get hurt. Because the challenge position is why things are occurring here. So you think that because your goals are that you have won a relationship. A, a completely committed relationship. Two of cups. Because you've been hurt by an individual. You think as a result of that your focus will be on being the queen of swords in the reverse. Okay. 
Now, I don't think that your focus is on a person, because I don't think that the, you, this is you guys wanting to attract new loving and how you do it. So I don't think you're going to be focusing on having a Queen of Swords in the reverse. Because Queen of Swords in the reverse is a very vulnerable person. Underneath all of her hardened layers, she's very, very vulnerable. So she might come across as cold and very, very, very detached. But underneath all of that, she's just hurting terribly. Which is why she kind of says, fuck off, stay away, stay from me, you bastard. You're all the same. That's what Queen of Swords does. You're all the same. You're all liars. You're all cheats. So, you know, my goal is I want a relationship. I want a committed relationship. Because you know what? I've been hurt by a bastard in the past. But you know what? For 2018, I'm going to make sure that I've got my guard up. Anyone that comes in, they're going to be vetted completely because that bastard from the past hurt me. And the universe is saying, no, come on, Gemini. No, 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 no. Your challenge is this. But if you want true love to come in, you're going to have to stop living in the past. Number one, with the six of cups in the reverse. Number two, forgive the past. Think about the good times rather than the bad. And number three, go back to the time when you saw love as being something that was to be attained and something that would be joyful. And that's why the lesson that you learn from whatever's happened to you and the lesson that you learn in terms of going forward and finding love is you need to nurture your spirit and nurture your soul. Don't become the dried up old hag of the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Become the beautiful, nurtured, plump, luscious empress become this because this is how you attract true love when you truly love yourself and you work on yourself that's when you start attracting in love good love and even if it doesn't work out it's just another lesson to learn and you carry on moving forward as shitty as that sounds but don't become crusty because queen of swords in the reverse for me is just crust crusty man and you want to attract a relationship through being crusty i don't think so you want to be nice and luscious gemini invest in yourself Pamper yourself. Know that you are the ish. You are beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're sexy. You're everything that any man or woman could want or desire, man. You got it all. You got it all. Here, right here. You got it all. You ain't no crusty old hag. You got it here. You got it all going on. You attract in love. The lesson is you will attract in the proper love by being the empress, not by being the queen of swords reversed. Because the queen of swords reversed comes with fear. People generally put their boulders up, their boundaries up when they fear. Your goals are to have this, but you think you're going to get it by being this. The only thing that you're going to be attracting is the same old shit. Because you were so intent in keeping the shit out, you attract it in. Become open. Love yourself. Open yourself up. You are your own piece of work your own piece of art work on yourself develop yourself emotionally externally everything smell good look good feel good go gym eat well eat fruit eat everything that's good for you feel good in yourself you know and that's how you're going to get it come in it really is pay attention to those warning signs if somebody comes in and you really your intuition tells you this is not good for me leave it that's the first stage because it says you value yourself and you're not afraid to walk away from things that aren't right for you. Second stage, second card says, applaud your accomplishments. Applaud the accomplishments that you're able to pay attention to the red flags and walk away. The lesson to be learned is, believe in yourself, love yourself enough to pay attention to those red flags and to applaud yourself that you're able to do it because you've learned a lesson. Queen of Swords in the reverse learns fuck all as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, she learns lessons, but then she goes back and she says, you know what, actually this happened to me, so they can go all fuck themselves now, and I'm going to be more, you know, colder and more absent and more resentful. And more bitter and more suspicious. That's not learning. That's dying. And you don't want to do that. You want to be this lady here. You want to be empress. She's a major anyway, but look at her. Fuck, she's gorgeous. She's lovely. You want to be the empress. Focus on nurturing yourself. You're coming up from the ashes by nurturing yourself with the Empress. Okay. I love you guys loads. It's going to be an awesome year for everyone. But it's all about learning those lessons. If you want true love, it starts with you. It starts with not doing things in fear any longer. Because fear is just going to get you the wrong thing. Take a new direction and cut off anything that is weighing you down. And these two energies are weighing you down. Cut them. Cut them dead.
cut them dead and focus on this love you gems speak to you soon my sweetheart love you bye